I'm Jenny, and I'm an advanced EMT with Milford Ambulance. Today, we're going to be reading Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake. And this is written by Michael B. Kaplan and illustrated by Stephanie Jorish. Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because her mother always said, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. And her father always said, your mother is right about that. Betty Bunny knew that her mother and father loved her. And so being a handful must be very, very good. One day, after a healthy dinner of carrots, potatoes, and peas, mother said, who wants dessert? I have chocolate cake. Betty Bunny, who was not good at trying new things, announced, I hate chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is yucky. What's chocolate cake? So her mother gave her a piece and Betty Bunny tried it. It was the yummiest thing she had ever had in her mouth. When I grow up, I'm going to marry chocolate cake, said Betty Bunny. You can't marry a dessert, said her brother Henry. You could marry a baker who makes chocolate cake, added her sister Kate. Or you could just buy cake at the store and then you don't have to marry anyone, said their older brother Bill. Betty Buddy thought about that for a while. She finally said, I am going to marry chocolate cake. That night, Betty Bunny's mother kissed her and tucked her in. Good night, Betty Bunny. I love you, she said. Betty Bunny looked up into her mother's eyes and said, Good night, Mommy. I love chocolate cake. The next day at school, Betty Bunny's teacher said, Good morning, Betty Bunny. How are you? Betty Bunny said, I am a handful and I love chocolate cake. Her teacher said, A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat. Betty Bunny said, A is for chocolate cake, B is for chocolate cake, C is for chocolate cake. During playground time, Betty Bunny tried to make chocolate cake by mixing water and dirt. It looked a little like chocolate cake, but it didn't taste very much like chocolate cake. Betty Bunny started to cry. I want chocolate cake, she said. Her teacher told her that they had no chocolate cake at school. Betty Bunny said, I hate school. It's yucky. After school, her mother drove her home. How was your day, she asked. I ate mud, Betty Bunny answered unhappily. I want chocolate cake. Sometimes, her mother explained, you can't have what you want right away, so you need to wait. And that's called having patience. But I don't want to have patience, Betty Bunny protested. I want to have chocolate cake. That night at dinner, her mother told Betty and Buddy that she could not have dessert until she ate a healthy dinner. Usually, Betty Bunny liked healthy food. Not tonight. Tonight, all she wanted was chocolate cake. Her father told her, don't come to me hoping to get a different answer. Henry said, if you were smart, you'd eat some peas. Kate said, you should try some carrots. They make cake out of them too, you know. Bill said, why don't you have some chocolate cake? That's what you really want. Oh no, wait, you can't 
Ha ha. Betty Buddy picked up some peas. She threw them at Henry. She threw some carrots at Kate. And worst of all, she threw mashed potatoes at Bill. They stuck to his forehead. Everyone was shocked. Even Betty Bunny was shocked. She hadn't really meant to do something so awful. Mother was not happy that Bill had teased his sister. She was even less happy with Betty Bunny. She told Betty Bunny to go straight to bed. There would be no chocolate cake tonight. Betty Bunny screamed, this family is yucky. Then she remembered she was hungry. So she crammed her mouth full of peas, carrots, and mashed potatoes and ran off to bed. When mother came into her room to kiss her goodnight, she told Betty Bunny, sweetheart, you know I still love you. Mommy, Betty Bunny said, you know that I still love chocolate cake. Just thinking about the cake she was not eating made her cry. Then it made her scream. Then it made her kick the wall, which hurt her foot, which made her cry all over again. Betty Bunny, her mother said as she rubbed the little bunny's foot, I'm going to put a piece of cake on a plate in the refrigerator. It will be your piece of cake and you can eat it tomorrow after a healthy dinner. Maybe if you know it's there waiting for you, it will be easier to be patient. Betty Bunny stopped crying. She liked this idea. So she wanted to say something especially nice to her mommy. Mommy, she said, you're a handful. The next morning, Betty Bunny wanted to say goodbye to her chocolate cake before she left for school. She opened the refrigerator and saw her piece of cake on its plate. It looked so lonely. Betty M Buddy knew that the cake would miss her all day while she was at school. So she picked it up and put it in her pocket. At school, the teacher said, Betty Bunny, you seem very happy today. Betty Bunny just giggled. There was chocolate cake in her pocket and no one knew it but her. As Betty Bunny finished munching her last carrot at dinner that night, her mother smiled. Betty Bunny, she said, you were patient all day for your cake. You ate a good dinner. I am very proud of you. Would you like to get your cake now? Betty Bunny reached into her pocket. Her cake was gone. Instead of cake, her pocket was filled with a brown, goopy mess. My cake! Henry said, I can't believe you put cake in your pocket. Kate said, Betty Bunny, food doesn't go in your pocket. Bill said, guess you can't marry that piece of cake now. Her mother got her a new piece of cake and she explained that putting cake in your pocket is not really the same as being patient. Betty Bunny finally understood and she promised from now on she would be patient. So the next morning, when Betty Buddy opened the refrigerator to say goodbye to her new piece of cake, she remembered that she couldn't put it in her pocket. And that is why she very carefully stuffed it into her sock. Yeah.